Greetings, beautiful people. It is I, yo. How y'all doing this morning? How y'all doing? Okay, so look, y'all see what I got in front of me? We got these um, apple peelings. Remember the apple? I made the apple uh, sauce uh, about a couple, about a week ago, maybe. And these are the peelings from the apples that I uh, made the apple sauce with. So I washed them off before I peeled the apples, and then I took these peelings. I put them in a plastic bag and I put them in the bottom of my refrigerator. Y'all remember that? Okay, so now today what we're going to do is we're going to make some um, apple vinegar. Apple vinegar. But we're going to infuse it with some herbs. The, remember my um, basil that I took out of the garden? That fresh basil? Well, this was in the bottom of the refrigerator too. I wrapped it in a paper napkin and let them dry out a little bit. And so was this rosemary. Y'all remember all of that? We're going to take the apple and the, uh, uh, this is a basil and these apple peelings, we're gonna put it in this jar right here. You're gonna need a big jar like this. You're gonna need, I took the labels off this water. Um, you're gonna need some good water. You can't use the water from the sink because you need distilled water or some kind of nice purified water to do this. Now, if you happen to, all, all you have is that water from the sink, you can use it. It's just gonna take a little bit longer maybe for your, um, for your vinegar, for your, for your stuff to turn into vinegar because of the chlorine and all the other stuff that they put in the regular drinking water, okay? And we're going to also have, use a quarter cup of sugar or about this much. It's supposed to be a quarter of a cup, but I don't measure. Remember I told you, I know what's what and how much to use, all right? And what the sugar is going to do is help break down all this stuff, okay? All right, so now let's do it. So... I'm gonna take some of these, I'm gonna back up so I can, so y'all can see. And you're just gonna place them in your jar. And I'm gonna show you what to do. Just put them on in there. It, it can be a little messy, but that's what we do sometimes. Especially since I'm gonna be using one hand. And I'm gonna fill it up about so. And I'm not gonna um, use all of these apples because I'm gonna make another jar. But I'm just showing y'all, I'm just demonstrating to y'all how much. Okay, so we're gonna put this much in here. Let's push it down a little bit. You see, but we want some air to be flowing in that jar a little bit. We don't want to have too much in there where it can't have an air flow. Then I'm going to take some of this. And this herbs, you don't have to. This is optional. I'm just wanting to infuse it a little bit. I want an infused vinegar. So I'm going to push them down in there like that a little bit. Then I'm going to go and get a little bit of this rosemary right here. And what I'm going to do is, it's kind of hard breaking it off. <laughs> so hang on one second, guys. I got to place you one second. Hang on. Hold on one second. I gotta place you here so I can grab it out. I'm just gonna take a couple of pieces of this rosemary. I don't want it to overpower the apples because I want it to be the apple vinegar that I want. So even with the sticks and all, you just put it in there. The core, you notice I have some core pieces of the apple. You can put it in there. You can also go to the supermarket and buy apples and stuff like that too and make it. The only reason why I don't do that is because I don't like the... Uh, the stuff that they have, we know this is like regular apple from the store. They have, you know the stuff they have on the apples, the all that chemical stuff. So anyway, so you put it down in here. Don't stuff it too tight because uh, you want some of the flow. You want some flow to go into your jars. Okay. So now you see that in there? Then what you're going to do, is you're going to add your sugar in there. And you put your sugar in there, see? Add your sugar, pour a cup of sugar. And then you take your water. You pour your water in there. Put your water in there. And you're not going to fill it all the way up to the brim, but you're going to fill it up long, uh, far enough. Let me just put the bottle over here. I'm going to show you where to fill it up to. Hang on one second. Hopefully you can see this without the glare. We're going to be filling this up. All right. Some more here. And we're going to go right to right here. Because we want some head space in here. We want some space in between our jaws. Because when this stuff starts breaking down, you're going to start seeing it bubble. It's going to bubble for the first maybe a uh, couple of days. You might see some bubbling in there. And that's what you want. Because you want this to break down. It's all of this stuff right here is going to break all the way down. Okay? And once this is ready, you're going to strain it. And I'm going to show you what to do when it's finished. Okay? But in the meantime, in between time, Start filling your jars up and doing like I do. Now, make sure this is covered. And one way to do this, you have to make sure that the sugar is in this properly. So you want to stir it. You want to stir it. But it's best to stir it with a, I use a chopstick. Or you can use a wooden spoon. 
Now, what I'm gonna do is, since this is trying to uh, come out of here, I don't want it to be too crowded, so, cause I want some air to flow. So I'm gonna take some of the rosemary out and I'm gonna give my, see, you want the space in here. Now, see me stirring it like this? You gotta make sure you get it all the way in the bottom. Now, every other day, you are going to stir your jar. You're gonna move it around because it's gonna help this break down and help the sugars and make sure all the uh, fruit and stuff you get ingredients get uh, the sugar so it can break down, okay? It's also gonna help the mother to form. And the mother is the good bacteria that you want from this product, okay? You see some of the sugar, you can see some of it selling at the bottom and that's fine, but you make sure you can just get it stirred up as best as possible and you see now look how the top of it look okay you don't have to put anything over here no weights or nothing to weigh it down you don't have to do that but because that's why you're going to stir it the purpose of stirring is to make sure all of the food too and uh stuff you got in your jar to make sure it's all going to be covered nicely okay so see now you see how it is sometimes you might see a fruit come up but that's okay when you stir it you'll just stir it around and you see how that beautiful that is you see how much i got filled up in there Okay, now you see the jar? Isn't that beautiful? All right, now this is gonna turn into a miracle, miracle drink, which is going to be your vinegar, okay? It's gonna be apple, sage, and uh, rosemary vinegar, okay? And it's gonna have all these benefits for it. Okay, now, this is what you do. You get a, excuse me, a coffee filter, and you put it over top of here. You see, you're gonna place the coffee filter on top of your jar. Um, and you take a rubber band or whatever tie that you have. I'm going to tie it on top of it. Hang on one second. I got one hand. Hold on, guys. One hand. One hand action. I'm just tying it on top so you can see. Okay? You're going to tie it. You're going to put it on top of here. And that's how it's going to look now. Clean up this mess here. You see how this going to look? This is how it's going to look. Nice and covered like that. Okay, but the good thing, good thing to do, too, that I want, I, I don't want to forget to tell you, is you're gonna take this and you're gonna place it inside of a bowl like that. So this is how beautiful it's gonna be. See, you place it inside of a bowl just like this, see? You see it? And every day or every other day, you stir it, okay? But you can put it on your kitchen counter as long as nobody is around or nothing like that, gonna knock it over or anything, okay? Or you can put it on top of your refrigerator. So that's being a safe space, okay? And it's going to stay like this, guess what, guys? For exactly 30 days. If you see that this is not breaking down as, as fast or as it should, um, you can add just a little bit more of sugar to it. So when I say a little bit more, I mean a little bit more, like maybe about maybe... Maybe right here, about this much worth of sugar to it. You can add to it and stir it real good, okay? All right? Then you can put your top back on it, and you can keep continue to let it sit. But don't worry, because this will break down, and it's going to turn into vinegar. And that's what you're going to want. But it's going to take you 30 days. And today, I'm not sure the date y'all know. Do it with me or go from the date that you're going, and 30 days later, I'm going to show you exactly how this looks. All right? All right? And we're going to drain it and strain it, okay? And you can do this with any kind of uh, stuff. You can do it with strawberries. You can do it with, I mean, um, pineapples. But with pineapples, you don't need to have any sugar because the pineapple is already sweet. Um, you know, you can do it with all kinds of stuff, okay? But right now, we're going to concentrate on this particular vinegar, all right? <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace, family.